today's special silkworm pork. Get some of these silkworms. Ah, I don't feel good about this. Time to say bye or bye hello. Today I'm in Dimapur, Nagaland's largest city. Nagaland is a region of India that's known for having, by the standards of foreigners, extreme and very different foods. So I'm here in a, one of the more well-known restaurants here in Dimapur, and I do believe they've got exotic food on the menu, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. Let's see how it goes. Today's special, silkworm pork. Namaste, Madam Ji. Sab theek hai? Okay. Ek in Okay. Okay. Oh, menu, hai na? Oh, pehle hi baha? Okay, go cool tea. Thank you. Namaste, Sir Ji. Sab theek hai? Baha. Okay. Menu. And then the specials, there's, I saw silkworm is on the menu tonight for special, right? Um, what? What's the silkworm like? Can you tell me about the silkworm? Okay, once X second. Hannah? Okay, vocal team. So there's silkworm on the special menu. Hi. On the regular menu, yeah. See some beef innards. See some other things too. Smoked pork nuoshi, smoked pork axo. Namaste, Madam Ji. Thank you. Dhanibad. So, what can you tell me about the silkworms on the menu today? Silkworm is cooked in bamboo shoot. Okay. That's the, famous, that's the famous style, right? Yes, it's a famous style. <laughs> yeah, it's a Naga style. It's the, it's the Naga style, right? Yes, yes. And it, it's boiled with b yes. bamboo shoots, right? Boiled with bamboo shoots. Yes. Okay. And does it, so it's just the silkworms and the bamboo shoots boiled? Yes. Okay. Uh, a bit of chili. A bit of chili. Spicy? Yeah, a bit spicy. Okay. Yeah, not so. It's normal Okay, that's fine. I can eat spicy. Um, is it, are you supposed to have it with, order anything else like rice or? Uh, yes, yes. You can go for tali. Oh, so, so you would recommend yes. I get the naga tali? Naga tali, yes. And you can get a rice, a local rice and then some Japanese, Naga Japanese, right. and some oil. Which, does the, the Naga does it come with meat? No, that no. is only veg. Oh, okay. Yes, and then this is Tali selection, that is a non-veg addition of Naga Oh, so you get the Naga Tali, and then yes. in addition you can get one of these. Yes, yes. Um, or, so with, what would you, rec if I want to try the silkworms, what would you recommend? Yeah. I should get the Naga Tali and yes, the silkworms? Yes, yes. How much does the silkworms cost? It's a two fifty per plate. Two fifty per plate. Yes. So if I were to get the naga tali plus silkworms, yes. You think that's enough food for me? Yeah, that's enough. Is it a lot of silkworms? Uh, around twenty pieces. Twenty pieces. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, does it taste like meat? Does it taste like chicken or yes, does it? Yes, like it's a different taste from the chicken and from pork. That is a different. Try it. <laughs> yeah, I'll try it. Once you try it, then you know. You like it, person? Do you like it? Yes, I like it. <laughs> do you eat it often? Yes, yes, we all do eat. Interesting. Is it healthy? Do you know? Yes, it's healthy. It's organic. <laughs> protein, right? Yes, it's a protein. Yes. Interesting. Okay. Well, based on your recommendation, I will have one okay. naga tali. Okay. With a silkworm. Additional silkworm. Yes, please. <laughs> For now, and then other than that. I think just just the pani is fine. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Madam. You appreciate it. Okay. One veg tali. Interesting that the, they serve the tali here as a base, and then you choose your meat for an additional price. Um, oh yeah, I already have it. Thank you. <clears throat> for an additional price, you choose your meat, or in this case, you choose your worm. Um, not a big bug eater, so this is gonna, 20 pieces sounds like a lot. You know, I don't know, what, you know if it's, maybe I'll like it. I feel like it's one of those things that if you grow up with it, you like it, and if you don't, you probably won't. 
Uh, I wish I was a little more hungry, to be honest, so I didn't care as much about it, or I wasn't so picky. Not that I'm super picky in general, but I just had a bigger meal earlier in the day, so not as hungry as I would otherwise be. Wow, already? Oh, is this just the tally? Yes. This is the tally. Okay. Oh, the worms are ready too. There they are, huh? Oh my gosh. Anything I need to know? Any recommend? Just just eat it with the rice and the and the chutney and stuff. Yes. This is a king chili pickle, and this is a bit spicy, or so be aware. <laughs> and then this is the aga chutney. Okay. Queen uh, chili and then tomato chutney. Okay. And that is a bit of uh, boil. And soup. Uh, yes. Vegetables. Yes. Right. So just. Take some of the silkworms and put them on the tali and then yes, just have it with the chutney? Yes, 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 you can eat the max. Mix it up, yeah? Yes, yes. Okay, all right. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate okay. it. If you need anything extra, give me the axe. Okay, I will. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Appreciate it. Okay, there you go. Just, you know, tali, just rice with the naga sauces, okay, the chutneys. And then the worms. I guess I sometimes like when something is boiled rather than fried because at least then you know they're not using oil, right? Because when they use oil, it's maybe not the best oil. When you can't choose the oil, no oil is the best oil. I don't know. I feel a little weird about this. Just look at them in there. Jeez. I don't think I can eat, like... 20 of these. I can't eat this whole bowl. I don't even want to eat it now. That's terrible. I should have. Just got to be a man about it. Can you say that in 2023? Just got to be a man about it. Just got to be a brave person about it. Okay, flatten the rice out. Get some of these. Silkworms. Ah, I don't feel good about this. Okay. Chutneys. Is there enough chutney? I need chutney. That's the. I need to drown it in sauce if I'm gonna enjoy this. I feel. Put some soup on there. All right. Rice, spicy chutney, and silkworms. All in one spoon. Yeah, so I guess the texture consistency is less gross than I thought it would be. I don't want to say that too loud, but like, it's all relative, right? It's based on perspective, so. What's gross to one person is delicious to another person. And again, it depends on what you grew up with. But just to get away from opinions and get more objective about it, it's not slippery and slimy like I thought it would be. It's a little bit more crunchy and maybe slightly chewy which is a pleasant surprise actually so I don't know if I can finish all of these but I'm gonna keep going for now I wouldn't want to eat it with just by itself like this without rice and chutneys it's a very weird feeling like, like getting that into your spoon and Voluntarily, intentionally, I'm getting a spoonful of that. Putting sauce on it. Putting soup on it. Getting a massive spoonful. And voluntarily, intentionally eating it. Yeah, I feel the same way about it. The texture makes it, all right. 
It's not slippery and slimy. It's like more solid and firm than that. A little crunchy, a little chewy. Honestly, I should just have one by itself. I don't think I'm that brave, to be honest. That'll be my last bite. I'm not gonna be able to finish all these, I don't think, but my last bite will be just one by itself for science. For now, I'll just keep making progress as much as I can in the same way that I'm doing. With plenty of rice, plenty of sauce. But yeah, to be honest, it's not that gross. It's just the idea of it that's gross, which is interesting. Well, not even halfway done, so. I do imagine it's healthy. Source of lean protein, right? I wonder if it has any nutrients that aren't as common in meat and most veg. I'm gonna have to Google that. If I find anything interesting, I'll put it here. This is the biggest spoonful yet, and I'm getting full. I'm getting mentally full. Alright, I think that's going to be my last spoonful. It's interesting how the more full you get, the less hungry you are. The less appetizing food is that you don't really want to be eating. I'm like getting more full of these and I'm focusing more on the fact that it's a bug. And that last bite was like mentally hard to finish. But again, I've said it several times, but the texture, the consistency is not bad. So I did about half, half a day. Maybe I'll go back to it. I'll just have the rice by itself for now. All right, I did a little work on the rice. I'm basically done. I said I'd have one by itself before leaving for science. So that's what I'll do. I'll wash it down with some rice. Honestly, it was good to try by itself. It has its own distinct seasonings and flavors that I would, that I didn't know of previously because I was mixing everything all together. So, it's prepared nicely. <laughs> Madam G. Uh, can I pay downstairs or should I just pay here? Downstairs better? Okay, cool. All right, thank you. Namaste, Madam G. Thank you guys. That was good. I didn't quite finish, but it was good. What are some of this? What is, I could taste some seasonings and some spices in there that the, that the worms are cooked with, they're boiled with. What? Mm -hmm. So the, it's bamboo, is it spices? Yes, it's a bamboo with a chili. With chilies in there, yeah? Yes. Ah, boy, all boiled together, yeah? Yes, boiled together. I see, interesting. Yeah, bohots for that, very good. Thank you very much, guys, really appreciate it. See you next time. We'll say Madam Z. It was my first time having silkworms, and uh, yeah, I didn't finish, but I had about half of them, and uh, they were good, very flavorful. I think foreigners, when they have the worms, they're thinking that it's gonna be taste like it's not cooked. Mm -hmm. So, but it, it's the way it's cooked. It's like very solid, firm, almost like the a same. A little bit spicy too. A little bit spicy too. Yeah, the 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 seasonings and the flavors were all very nice. Um, so it was much um, as an experience. It was it was a good experience for sure. Yeah. And if you want, you can have some sangria with your silkworms. Silkworms and sangria. Sounds like a interesting combo. Thanks again, guys. Really appreciate it. See you next time, yeah? You too, thanks. All right, so there you have it. $6 silkworm tali in Nagaland. What can I say about it that I didn't already say numerous times? Uh, not as bad as I thought it would be. With the seasonings, the spices, it's actually quite good. The texture is not slimy, it's more solid, it's more firm. The more hungry you are, the better it is. 
as you get more full, it might become less appetizing because of the thought of it more than anything. Cool. Alrighty. Well, that's what, all I got for today uh, from Dimapur. So heading to Kohima soon. So uh, see you on the next one. Alrighty. See ya.